I'm headed to Florida for a service call. Don't know what I'm gonna get into, so I loaded up the camper, got the tools in the truck. Let's do some work. This video is brought to you by RLS, original, patented, proven. Diversitech, helping you simplify your work. And by Infocon. Infocon just released their latest refrigerant scale, the Waytech Pro, for all jobs, big or small. Can handle a large capacity up to 275 pounds, or a small charge adapter kit allows you to weigh in the small A3 refrigerant bottles like the R290. So if you're in the market for a nice, good quality refrigerant scale, check out the Waytech Pro. Yeah, so if you've been following the channel for a while, you know that I'm actually from Middle Tennessee, and I'm gonna be traveling to Santa Rosa Beach, Florida, for a service call. Could turn into an install, it could be just a cleaning, who knows what it's gonna be. But my mother-in-law lives in uh, Santa Rosa Beach. So we're gonna head up, <laughs> so we're gonna head up there. I got the whole family with me. We're gonna make a trip out of it. Got the camper, we're gonna camp close by and then go over there and just see what we can do to help them out. They, um, the unit's just not keeping up. It's like 80 degrees in the house and uh, why not make a trip out of it? Why not make, go down there, spend some time with family, get their uh, their AC up and going for them, and just have a good time in the process. The famous Bucky's. Everyone loves Bucky's for some reason. I don't think it's that nice. But they do got some good beef jerky and they do got some good uh, brisket. I like to get the dry brisket. It's a really good snack for traveling instead of eating a bunch of junk food. Check out this dually. She's sweet. Square body. Nice setup right there. All right, so I walked out of there spending a lot more than I anticipated, but we are set up for the trip. We've got all kind of good snacks, beef jerky, yeah. brisket, and, we also have, uh, our treats. and some drinks. Treats. One of my favorites is kombucha. This one's a passion fruit and tangerine. I love this stuff. I'm ready to chow down on some brisket. All right, so after about seven hours on the road, we made it, we're here. This is pretty cool. I've never uh, stayed in a place like this. It's basically just a huge parking lot, um, kind of in the woods a little bit, but it's literally like right down the street of where my mother-in-law, uh, their house is. So super convenient, but this will do. Now the fun part is getting everything set up and level and connected usually by an hour process.
All right, got everything hooked up. We're settling in. We got the air cranking. I'm tired. It's time to get these boys showered and cleaned up and ready for bed. Tomorrow we're gonna wake up and get started checking out that system. See you tomorrow. All right, caffeinated, ready to go. Let's go check out, see what's going on with the system. Pretty good. Oh yeah, the coral is like shit. The coral are awful. So, all right. So problem number one: TXV bulb is loose, and of course the coil is plugged, and dirty. So, let's see what else is going on. see these coils out here look pretty de deteriorated and super dirty as well so we are um, obviously co uh, close to the coast so that salt water can definitely affect uh, the coils. I mean, as you can see, the steel here is affected. So I don't know. We'll see. Ho hopefully, it's uh, salvageable. One thing that I think needs to probably could be addressed. Yep, entire thing is not insulated. All right, so after a full assessment, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do much for this uh, this weekend. There's way more work involved. Um, more manpower is needed. Basically, we need to swap out this unit. We need to uh, have the hole underneath of this 
uh, home clean and cleared out all that insulation and the, that pay the black paper stuff and then we got to insulate those metal trunk lines replace those flex lines that go from the bottom of the the blower up to those trunk lines um, and yeah, obviously replace the system so it's gonna take some work um, I think though for now they're in a better position because I did adjust that TXV sensing bulb I cleaned the coil a little bit I don't really think that's gonna do much but going from um, when I originally was testing to after fixing the sensing bulb a huge difference so um, it should at least operate better and also that's a four ton blower so it's only capable of moving up to uh, you know what 1600 CFM that's a five ton condenser so at some point it looks like the blower coil inside is the original syst uh, setup and then the outdoor unit's been replaced at some point and when they did they just probably upgraded to a five ton and didn't adjust for the inside so um, we're just gonna start doing some homework we're gonna get some quotes on uh, either spray foaming that ductwork under the house or just get it, getting it, you know, traditionally wrapped with duck wrap, and then uh, finding some equipment to get in here, make sure it fits, and get them going. So we'll go from there. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and pretty much just end this video now because there won't be much, uh, much more HVAC related stuff going on for this weekend. So uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. You got something out of it. This was a different one for me for sure. Just trying to get out here to help out and see what I can do. You never know what you're gonna run into. So if you or if you know anyone that's in this general area, Santa Rosa Beach, you know, close to Destin, Panama City, the Panhandle area of Florida, and you guys wanna help out, my email will be down in the description. Hit me up. Like I said before, we gotta replace this unit and we got to address the ductwork. However, we're going to get it insulated. I've already told them that they need to go under there and remove all of that plastic liner, all of the hanging insulation, get everything out of there nice and clean. So that way we can go under there and do whatever we're going to do. Either we're going to, if I'm going to hire a company just to spray foam uh, the ductwork and it'd be done, or if we're just going to wrap it with traditional duct wrap. Anyway, I'm going to need some help on this job. So if you guys want to help out, uh, that would be greatly appreciated. I know they would love it. This is all going to be donated. Obviously, time-wise, I'm going to purchase all the equipment and uh, materials. So no cost to them. This is going to be, you know, something I just want to do for them to get them taken care of. So anyway, email will be down below. Let me know if you guys, if you can help out in any way or if you know someone that can. But uh, until next video, thanks for watching.